when parenting a child with ADHD, it is sometimes really difficult to look on the bright side of things. Thinking about all of those daily challenges ADHD presents, you know, at home, at school, uh, in just about every area of daily life, it's totally understandable that many parents forget about the benefits of ADHD, but there absolutely are benefits. So stick with me for the next few minutes as I share about some of them. Now, before we get started, my name is Dana Kay. I am an ADHD health and nutrition practitioner, and I work with families all across the USA. Yes, I don't sound like I'm from the USA, but I live in Washington state. And I help those families reduce symptoms of ADHD through food and natural solutions. But I'm not just someone who knows about ADHD from an educational standpoint. I am also someone who truly gets it. I get it. Uh, I'm a mum of a child with ADHD. And when my son's symptoms were at their worst before we were able to reduce his symptoms through diet and a natural approach, our entire family was miserable. It felt like we were on this emotional roller coaster that, that wouldn't stop, uh, a roller coaster that we could never, could never get off. There was hyperactivity, impulsivity, defiance and a lot of it. Uh, he couldn't sit still. There was a there was a lack of listening. But I think the worst part uh, of all of it was probably the emotional regulation challenges. They just stopped our whole family. Those meltdowns that seemed to happen on a daily basis were so hard. So I understand why many parents struggle to see the glass is half full because ADHD can be really, really hard. And that's why it's critical for parents to remind themselves that ADHD isn't just a challenge. It's also a superpower. Now, ADHD brings with it some really good things too. Think about the following characteristics, for example. So number one, persistence. Children with ADHD are some of the most persistent people I know. Okay, granted, sometimes this does look like defiance. Uh, For instance, when a child won't put something down that they're working on when a parent tells them it's time to come to the table for dinner. But flip that defiance on its side and think about it differently. Defiance, when viewed through another lens, is persistence. And persistence is such a wonderful thing. Challenges aren't going to stop a persistent person. Impossible isn't a word in their vocabulary. If they want something, they are going to do all they can to get it. Superpower number two is creativity. There is a scientifically significant correlation between ADHD and creativity. That means that people with ADHD have an advantage with creative activities. Another superpower is hyperfocus. Because of the words attention deficit in ADHD, some people mistakenly believe that those with ADHD can't focus on anything, but that is absolutely not the case. A much better way to look at it, according to psychologist Kathleen Nadu, is that those with ADHD have a dysregulated attention system. It's hard for them to shift focus from something they're really interested in to something they find boring. But if it's something they're really interested in, they can actually hyper-focus on it. Some children with ADHD can sit there for hours working on one Lego masterpiece or an art project. Now, the next one is passionate. People with ADHD are passionate about things they love. Get them talking about a subject matter they are actually interested in, and it's very likely you'll learn a lot about that subject matter. Number five is intelligent. Children with ADHD are often incredibly intelligent. They might not do well in school because of the challenges that traditional classrooms present for children with ADHD, But this isn't because of a lack of intelligence. In fact, many people with ADHD are actually gifted and show a lot of aptitude in certain subjects. So now think about someone with ADHD that you know. My guess is one or more of those characteristics describes them. One of the most important things we can do as parents of children with ADHD is to learn to focus on the positives of ADHD and to reframe 
these characteristics. Turn those negative attributes on their side. It's not defiance, it's persistence. It's not ignoring, it's hyper focus. By choosing to view these attributes in more positive ways, we as parents can do two things. Number one, we help our children see themselves in a more positive light. Think about it. Our kids hear negative comments all day long at school, at home, and and just about everywhere they go. They are corrected. They're redirected challenged and uh, they're challenged to change their behavior so much more than their neurotypical peers. This constant correction can easily tear down their self-esteem if we as their parents are not building them up. By reframing their attributes in a positive way, we are building them up and helping them to view their ADHD in a more positive way. And number two, by thinking about the positive aspects of ADHD, we also improve our own well-being and the relationship we have with our child. That small mindset shift can help us view our children in a more positive light. Sure, Their ADHD sometimes brings with it some challenges, but it also brings many, many wonderful superpowers too.